What's up, Maud? Autumn here, and today we are talking fitness. Let's jump right in. First question, what is the amount of weights you usually use? Oh my, well, I guess that would depend on what exercise I'm doing. Upper body is anywhere from 10s to 15s, maybe 17 and a half. And then the lower body, 20s up to, oh my God, up to 110 pounds, depending again on what I'm doing. So um, yeah, legs, super strong. Upper body, I go a little bit lighter. I have a neck shoulder thing that I'm careful of, so I never go crazy heavy on my upper body. What would you tell someone who is just getting started in fitness and in health? I would tell you to take it slow, to take it one day at a time. I would tell you to trust the process, trust the trainer whose workout program you are following because they will guide you in the right direction. Um, join an accountability group, get a workout partner, do whatever you can to make sure you have all of the support that you need for getting started, being successful, staying on track. But really listen to your body and don't expect everything to happen overnight. It's a process. So really just enjoy the process and you will see your body change. Do you plan to work with any other beach body trainers? Um, I don't necessarily have a plan for it. I would not be opposed to it, but that decision doesn't normally come from me. That usually comes from the big boss man himself, Mr. Carl Deichler. So if he were to want me to pair up with another trainer, I would be more than happy and thrilled to do it. Let's see, how do you get your energy? Mm -hmm. um, well, on the days where I'm really lacking, I love Beachbody Energize from the Beachbody Performance line, so I do use that a lot of the time. Uh, before my workout, sometimes it's just a cup of coffee, um, and sometimes I don't, really, I don't really need anything extra. If I have a good night's sleep, I'm raring to go, so it just depends, I guess, on what kind of energy level I wake up with. Uh, what is your favorite time of day to exercise? I'm a morning person. I really like to like get it done early so it's done and out of my way. I get up, I have breakfast, I get my son to school, and I want to be hitting the gym or jumping into the gym at my house and getting that workout done. I don't like it looming over my head for the day that I still need to do it. Do you use a Fitbit or Jawbone and what are your thoughts? Um, I have a Fitbit. My brother got it for me for Christmas. I haven't used it yet because I'm too lazy to program it. Um, but I actually do think fitness trackers like that are a great idea. Here's what I will say about them. Are they 100% accurate? No. Give or take, depending on how you program it, how, which one it is, how high quality it is. But it is great because if you're trying to hit 10,000 steps a day and you see that you've only done 5,000, you know you still have a way to go. The calories could be off a little bit, anywhere from 100 to 200, depending again on the device that you're using. But nonetheless, it does help you track it. So if you're somebody who is motivated by that, then I think it's a great device to use. Any ideas for working out at outdoor fitness parks? Oh my gosh, there's a million things you could do at an outdoor fitness park, and it really, I guess, depends on what the park has. Obviously, you can go for a jog, you can go for a power walk. A lot of parks have workout areas, so they'll have like monkey bars or balance beams or pull-up bars and things like that that you can use. You can do a million different body weight exercises, so squats and lunges and push-ups and sit-ups and things like that. Also, you have your trusty iPad or your iPhone. You can log on to Beachbody On Demand and any of um, the workouts that we have, you could always do those while you are at the park, like 21 Day Fix Cardio Fix is a great one because you don't need any equipment for it. So have fun if you're out there, be creative um, and enjoy the outdoors. It looks like that is it for our fitness questions, guys. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.